Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Doxy, here with another video for you guys today. Today, we're going to give you all another video on LSPDFR, and it is going to be basically showing you how to install a realistic police computer. Well, I wouldn't go too realistic, but it is a nice police computer. So anyway, the plugin that we're going to be covering today is called Compute Light. Okay, so first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to the first link in my description, which is going to take you to Script Hook V, which is required to play all GTA mods. And then another thing, if you guys do not have a backup of your main game, I highly recommend you guys making a backup of your main game before even continuing this video. So moving forward, I'm assuming you guys have all that already and have did all the steps that you should do to play LSPDFR. So let's get straight into it. We're going to go ahead and download Script Hook V, which is going to be the first link in the description. Go ahead and hit download. Go ahead and hit keep. You guys may want to turn off virus protection. Virus protection can cause this to get flagged as a virus. This is not a virus, though, guys. It is used, like I said once again, on every single plugin. Every plugin for LSPDFR, 9 times out of 10, 9.5 times out of 10, uses this plugin right here. So moving forward, guys, what we are going to do is we are going to download one more thing. We're going to go back to the, the description and we're going to download the second link in the description that's called Compute Light. Okay. This is going to basically allow you guys to get this interaction here. You guys can write citations, um, see the outcomes, all that good stuff. Okay. I'm going to showcase it in game as well once we're done. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click this download right here. Okay. Now this site's a little wonky. So what you guys are going to want to do is if it doesn't show up the first time, go ahead and exit out of whatever tab that pops up as an ad and then try it again. Keep clicking download right here until you actually see it download, okay? So for me, I have ad blocks on, so this site can't pop ads up. So when I hit download, it just starts downloading. Okay, guys, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to drag this to the desktop, okay? Once this is on the desktop, the next thing you're going to want to do is minimize your browser because you don't need the browser anymore, okay? So we have these two things here on our desktop that we're going to be putting into Grand Theft Auto's main directory. So what we're going to do now is find our main game directory. So for Steam users, what you're going to do is you are going to go to the best way to do it. And this is the way I'm going to start showing you guys from now on. A lot of my subscribers that's been watching is probably going to be like, whoa, what do you mean? But yeah, this is the way that we're going to go find this main game directory, okay? For Epic Games and other platforms, it'll be in the description. But for Steam, go ahead and type in Steam in your search bar. Go ahead and open it up. Go to Library. Once we get to Library, we are going to right-click on Grand Theft Auto 5. We are going to then go to Properties, and we are now going to go to Installed Files, and then go to Browse. Okay? This is going to make sure we get you right inside of your main game directory. You can take a step back by using your file directory up here, and then just click on Common. And then this would be the folder that you would see your backup in, and then your regular version that you're using with your Mods folder. So go ahead and click inside of here. What we're going to do is we are then going to exit out of Steam. And by the way, guys, like I said, that's a new way I'm going to start showing you guys how to open up this directory just in case you guys have this installed somewhere else besides the C drive. So what we're going to do now is we are going to open up script hook V. Let's go ahead and make room here so we can actually do that. So minimize. We'll minimize this and then open up script hook V. If you guys don't have WinRAR, it will be in the description. Well, at the bottom of the video, just like every other tutorial I do on LSPDFR. We're going to click on Ben inside of there. So once again, Ben. And then once we get inside of here, we are going to take these two files. And this is only for people that have not installed Scriptbook V yet, okay? If you guys just have LSPDFR and you're looking to install this with it, that's fine. But you guys need to make sure that you have Scriptbook V installed. So not just LSPDFR. So go ahead and do Control. And click on both of those and then drag and drop them right into your main game directory. Okay, once you do that, it's done. I'm not going to do it because I already have it and it's up to date and it works. So I'm not going to do it. So then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to then go into Compute Light. Okay, so once we're inside of here, we're going to click on the folder. And then inside of this folder, we have a plugins folder and a Rage Native UI. Okay, this Rage Native UI is out of date okay it's dated 21721 do not use it do not put it in your game okay you guys should already have rage native ui's newest version if you guys don't i will leave a link in the description on where to get it from it's very self-explanatory all you have to do is open up that winrar and then drag those files into your main game directory okay so 
excluding Rage Native UI since it's outdated, we are going to click on the plugins folder. And then we're just going to drag and drop that inside of here. Okay, that's it, guys. Drag and drop it. Once it's done, you're going to click on your plugins inside of here. You're going to go to LSPDFR. Now you should see a folder. It's called Compute Light. And you should also see an INI file down here. It's for Compute Light. Now, if you click inside this INI file, you'll actually be able to change the key that opens up the computer. So, for instance, on here, you would have to hold E on your keyboard and then it'll open it up. You guys can change this to whatever you guys want to change this to. This is the cop horn, I do believe. So sometimes you'll press it and it'll make the noise of the horn and then finally the screen will pop up. So what I tend to do also on controller, if you're using an Xbox controller, it will be right on the D-pad, okay? Hold right on the D-pad and this will also show up. Okay, guys? So you can leave everything here the same if you use controller. Um, just go ahead and exit out of Compute Lite and then it is done. You guys have it installed. There's nothing else you really got to do here besides launch the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our main game directory. We're going to scroll down and we are going to go ahead and open up Rage Plugin Hook. And then I will actually see you guys when we are in the game. All right, guys. And here we are. We're back in the game. And it seems that the NBCs really don't know how to drive. So this is typically just a tutorial right here for me to show you guys that it works in game so if you set up stop the pad correctly you can actually just go ahead and press left on your well right on your uh, d-pad and it will open up this menu once you're in this menu just ask for the driver for all their documentation and I'm not sure if you really have to do that I don't think you do but just for the sake of this video I'm gonna do it it's Frank okay cool what we're gonna do now is we are going to back out of this menu and then we're gonna go back to our police car when we get back into our police car we are gonna hold the right d-pad button okay and it pops up this uh, compute light computer system inside here we can hit ped records and then there you go okay that's given us both people that's inside of this vehicle and what we can do here is we can click inside and um, I do believe so what we can do is we can go to create arrest reports you got traffic in here you got property in here drug possession other possession violent crimes assault battery theft crimes other violent crimes so there's plenty to do inside of here you can also issue citations so there you guys have it okay that's computer compute light one more time guys you guys are going to hold right on your d-pad to go ahead and open that bad boy up that will open it up on the controller and then for your keyboard you are going to hold e and then you can always change that like i showed you guys in the beginning with the ini file so i hope this video helped if it did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and until the next video i'll see you guys later